Oh hey guys, Simon here, I'm playing Minecraft. So, <laughs> haven't made a Minecraft video for a while. The last thing we did was finish up the uh, Hollow Mountain thing, I think. I haven't actually built anything new, although I've been working on the war. I don't know how many of you guys have been paying attention to that and remember what the war was like the last time. And basically I'm kind of putting the arches in into the uh, the second half of this. So I haven't been playing Minecraft that much since then, and what time I've had spent in Minecraft had mostly been down in the branch mine, underneath the, the crystal tower, right? So I've been digging up a lot of cobble and various other things, iron and gold and, and diamonds and whatever. And then and after going around the boundary one, so it's basically like a, a square that expands outwards from the crystal tower, or the, or the bottom of the crystal tower. And so I extended that out one more module, as it were. I don't know if that makes sense neither. If you guys have followed me for long enough to know what the branch mine looks like, then that might make sense to you. Anyway, I've been mining. That's basically what I'm trying to say. And after I've been mining, I've taken the cobblestone that I've had and I've been expanding the, uh, or actually, you know, building the wall a little bit more. And that that's basically it. Like I don't have too much to say. There's no new designs. I just thought I'd um tell you that. <laughs> well also what's I mean Mojang have been kinda of busy too, so they've got an update coming up fairly soon. They've got the snapshots coming out. I think basically the the update is gonna be new biomes. New biomes and new flowers. Both of which I'm quite happy to hear about. I mean, I like I like flowers, so more colors and more flowers would be interesting, and uh, more interesting biomes too. Um, some of the images look quite interesting. There's the the mesa, I guess, is the uh, is the brand new one. Although there's also a whole lot of other things that are not as fancy, but probably going to be quite interesting too. The savanna, or the savanna, it's going to be grass and trees but drier and uh, black forest with you know really big trees and and I think it's gonna have snow-capped mountains too because they talked something about the temperature changing depending on the height so I'm, I'm thinking what that means is that if you have tall mountains the top of them will be covered in snow while the bottom of them will be you know not covered in snow that would be interesting if that's what they managed to do, but uh, so they're working on that. So I'm I'm quite happy about that. I'm quite happy that they're uh, you know improving the the biomes. Although what that means is I might have to you know delete the outside again. So remember a little bit back, I went exploring the outside of the uh, outside the boundary, and uh, I was looking for a desert to colonize because I you know I kind of need more sand. So, I'm thinking I'll just, you know, abandon that, wait for the update to come out, and then go explore again and find a new desert. Because the new desert is probably going to be much more interesting than the old desert. So, I want to do that. Although the other option is to keep the desert that I've found, and then just go exploring after that. Although I don't see too much point though. I mean, the way I see it, if there's going to be new stuff, they might as well just go get the new stuff and not worry about the desert that I have now, right? Yeah, anyway, that's, that's my way of thinking. I don't know if you guys have any opinions on that. So I'll probably just, you know, delete all the chunks outside the boundary again. So you can see the border there, there's the kind of chunk boundaries there. Delete all that stuff outside there, and then regenerate. And then, um, yeah, and then find a new desert and also find a new mesa, because then we get coloured clay like clay blocks, which is also going to be awesome. And of course find some new flowers and find some horses too. I mean horses have been around for a while, but I haven't actually gotten any horses yet. Um, hmm, so that's the plan. Uh, I don't actually have too much else to say about Minecraft. Because I mean, this, this war stuff... I mean, I've been doing this for quite some time now. And we're getting there, we're getting there. I think it's about 75% finished or something at this point. 
or maybe even 80% finished at this point. So I'm going to finish it eventually. Look, there's some endermen down there. Can you see them? I'm not going to look at them though. So yeah, eventually this wall is going to be finished as well, which is good. Then we can move on with some of the other giant projects that I've started but haven't finished, like the skyscraper for example. <laughs> it's like, supposed to be... Actually, how many levels are there supposed to be? Like 12 or 13? I've done one. <laughs> so there's still a lot to go. A lot more to build on the skyscraper. And then, you know, other things that I've considered, which I haven't even started yet. Yeah, yeah, I don't actually have anything else to say. Um, maybe I should just stop recording now. Oh! Roads and gardens? I need to put some roads and gardens in. Like, roads, I can not really gardens, but landscaping. Especially around the uh, around the main base, around the courtyard. So the, there's, a, there's a bunch of buildings around the, the courtyard. And so we need roads leading out from the courtyard to the sky skyscraper from the... and then joining up with the uh, the statues over at the south... southeastern corner of the... of, of Alpha, you know, the, 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 the area within the boundary back from Minecraft Alpha. And then of course the uh, the Hollow Mountain... So I need to build roads between those things which I really should do soon-ish. And also some landscaping, so in between the buildings, maybe tidy that stuff up, make it look slightly more presentable, because right now there's just buildings. And you know, when I talk about other people's designs, I always talk about, hey, don't just you know build the buildings, also think about the spaces between the buildings, right? Because that's also important. Like when you're walking around the map, most of the, like a lot of times you're walking in between buildings, not just walking inside buildings. So think about the outside as well, so tell other people that. But I haven't actually done it myself. Not really. So roads and landscaping. So I need to get onto that. And I want to. I want to make it interesting too. Like I don't want to just have the same kind of landscaping all over the the map and then you know, make it look too repetitive. So I want to try and um. Actually, I can get all of it. Want to keep it interesting. Like have 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 uh, like a v variety of, of different kind of landscaping, like gardens here and there and things like that. Maybe 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 you guys can give me ideas for that too. Maybe if you have like a favorite garden or park or something, you can just give me a name so I can Google it. Because it, it's, you know, when, when you have one person designing things, it's very easy to end up designing the same thing over and over again because, you know, it, it's all you, right? And you're just relying on your own imagination, and your imagination is not that rich, even if you're, you know, a pro designer. Sometimes you still, you know, get stuck on an idea, and you, you're not thinking outside the box. So, um, yeah, maybe if you guys have like a favorite park or a favorite garden somewhere, maybe you can kind of give me a, give me a name so I can look it up, so I can gather some, you know, a range of ideas, so that when I actually start building these things in Minecraft, I don't end up, you know, building the same thing over and over again. Which happens. I mean, even with really famous architects, especially some really famous architects, because they're famous for a particular building, and so, you know, when other people hire them, they say, hey, I, I like that building, why don't you design me something like that? <laughs> and so, they end up building their entire career around doing the same thing over and over again. <laughs> Because that's what people ask for as well. <laughs> I won't name any names, but some some architects end up doing that because they have a style. Right? People just say, "Oh, you have a style. You have a unique style. I want I want something in that style." And then they get stuck. They get stuck doing the same thing over and over again, which is I don't think that's a good thing. But hey, that's how business works, right? So I don't I don't want to do that. So I mean. Even though you might think, you know, that particular style is really good. If you do that like a hundred times, it gets a bit tiresome, right? So I want to make sure I have some variety in, in my Minecraft world, at least. You know, it's a fireworks project. 
Man, that thing took so long. Took so many resources to build. But it takes a lot of resources to fire as well. You're like, it needs, needs so much TNT to fire the thing. I haven't actually played with it at all since I built it. And it's awesome too, throwing TNT into the air. But I don't have that much TNT. Hmm. Anyway. Alright, so I guess that's pretty much all I have to say. So, you know, I haven't been making any Minecraft videos for a while because I haven't really designed anything new. I've mostly just been mining, building the wall, and you know, when the new update comes out, I guess I'll, I'll make a few videos going exploring the new biomes and just, you know, talking about possibilities for the new biomes as I see it, you know, once I see it. So I'll do that when the update comes out. I don't know how long it's going to take them to do that. It might take a, a few more weeks at least. And also roads and, and landscaping. If you guys have... Actually, not even just... Maybe even roads. Like, if you have any favorite roads, it sounds a bit strange, right? But if you go to different parts of the world, there's actually different roads. Like, these these things are, are the sorts of, sort of things you don't think very much. Like, roads, you just you kind of take them for granted. I mean, you, you think of your destination. I mean, if you're going to the beach, you just think, of, think about going to the beach. You don't think about the road that you're going to travel on to get to the beach. It's a bit strange. But, you know, roads are, are different, too. In different parts of the world, in different you know, types of terrain. Like, mountain roads are different from roads that are just, you know, on flat ground and then things like that. City roads are different from country roads. I've <laughs> if you are one of those strange people who have favorite roads, I don't know, like, who who does that? Who has a favorite road? But if you have a favorite road, maybe you can you know, give me a name as well and I can Google it. Look it up on Google. So maybe the roads should also be different. So that, you know, again, so that we're not just doing the same thing over and over again. You know, have some variety. Maybe I should make the roads relate to the to the things that they're joining up somehow. So maybe the roads over to the statues is a bit more sculptural. And then maybe the road over to the skyscraper is a bit more modern. And maybe the road over to the mountain temple, the uh, the hollow mountain, is more more like a pilgrim's path. So maybe this is you know, this is this less traveled and more scenic and slower. Whereas the one over the skyscraper is just kind of efficient, because you know that that relates to the kind of thing that you're joining up, right? Maybe you should do that. Anyway, so that that's what that's that's what I've been doing, and what I'm thinking about for Minecraft. And maybe I should stop talking now because I don't really have too much else to say. And yeah, so this is just me building the wall. As you can see, not too interesting. Just doing the same thing over and over again. That's why I haven't been making videos. All right, I'll stop here. If you have any comments, uh, feel free to make them. And if you have any ideas or anything, just yeah, say anything. I'm, I'm happy to uh, converse with you guys.